So I get okay, chapter six, eh? alternate encouraging. Alternating current theory. And remember, guys, we once did what we call the direct direct current theory. Eh? So basically, when they're talking about direct current theory, it is a current which moves in one in one direction. Eh? <coughs> it only moves in one in one direction. When they're talking about the direct current current theory. So in this chapter six, when they're talking about alternating current theory, it means it can move moves in both in both in both direction. Eh? So now we'll be dealing with the current which moves in one in both direction, which means your current it can change the the direction. Eh? All right. Okay. So there are certain formulas which goes with the alternating current theory that you must you must know. And some of the formulas the formulas they are given on the formula sheet, and some they are not given on your on your formula sheet. Eh? The first one it says <coughs> t is equals to one over uh, one over f, which is the time is equals to one one over one over frequency. Eh? This is t is equals to one over frequency. Remember, I said the frequency is measured in one in hertz. Eh? So if you want to calculate time, you just want it's gonna be one over one over eight. Whereby your frequency must be in what? In years. If they give you in kilohertz, you have to convert to be in what? To be in years. Ne? Sometimes they can give you a frequency which is in like megahertz. Sometimes they can give you in what? In kilo. You always have to convert it back to what? To hertz. Ne? And then you also have the formula to calculate what you call <coughs> the angular the angular velocity. Ne? So the formula to calculate angular velocity is going to be 2 pi. Uh, 2 pi f. Ne? Okay. And then your 2 pi just is just a constant. And then your f is what? Is the frequency. Ne? All right, okay, and then your angular velocity, guys, is measured in what? In radians, ne? per second. It's always, whenever you're calculating an angular velocity, it's always measured in what? In the radians per, per second. Ne? I'll show you when you're calculating uh, the instantaneous value. And then you also have the formula to calculate the angular, which is the angular velocity multiplied by the, by the time. Ne? And then there's what we call the instantaneous, instantaneous value. So you have the instantaneous value of what? Of the current, of the EMF, and also of what? Of the voltage, ne? So if they ask you to calculate the instantaneous value of the current, guys, it's going to be what? It's I, ne? And they're saying the value to calculate the instantaneous value of, of the current is going to be the maximum current, which is I M. Whenever they give you a first value here, just know it's a maximum. It's a, it can be a maximum current, it can be a maximum voltage. The first value on the equation, which is, which is here, is uh, the maximum, <coughs> maximum value, ne? So on this, if it is I, so it makes this one to be the maximum current, ne? And then multiply by 2 pi, 2 pi F. And remember, I say... Your W is goes to 2 pi, 2 pi F, ne? and then you see that here they said uh, 2 pi F multiplied by what? By T. So sometimes they can give, let's say for an example, they give you, let's say they say I is goes to uh, 10 sine of 35 T. Ne? Okay, if sometimes they can give you an equation, like when you are doing that, I'll show you when you are doing this example. You must know this is your maximum, your maximum value, ne? and then this is the angular Velocity. And where did I get this? Because I know 2 pi f is equal to what? To this part. Ne? So whenever they give me a value here, I know it's what is my angular angular velocity. Ne? All right, okay. So sometimes it just changes. If they want E which man the one the one the instantaneous value of what of the EMF. Ne? So now instead of what <coughs> of choosing the current, now it will be the maximum EMF ne? multiplied by 2 pi, 2 pi f multiplied by by t, which is the which is the time. If they want the one for the voltage, now you are using the maximum, the maximum voltage uh, sine two pi f multiplied by multiplied by t. So they can either uh, they can either ask you calculate with the instantaneous value of what of the current of the EMF or of the what, of the voltage. But just know it's just the same thing. Eh? All right, okay. And then guys, whenever you are using sometimes whenever you are calculating your instantaneous value, you have to change it to be what to be in degrees. Eh? So you must know how to convert what <coughs> from radians to what. To degrees, ne? you must know how to convert. Well, say you have the angular velocity ne? with what uh, I've already written, like on this one, which is this value. Ne? You always have to convert it to be one in, in degrees. So you must know in order for you to change from radians to degrees, you have to multiply by one, uh, 180 divided by pi, or you just have to multiply by one by 57, comma, comma 3. So that's when you are changing from radians to what to degrees. Ne? So to from converting from radians to degrees, you multiply by what. 57, comma, comma 3, ne? All right, okay. <clears throat> so this is what I was highlighting here. This one is the one which, has, which haven't been converted in this one way, but you have converted to one, to degree. So whenever you're calculating, you remember what I say, whenever you're calculating in your student's value, you have to convert it to be in degrees, ne? So whenever you're calculating E, you have to convert it to be what? In degrees, ne? So if they give you the angular velocity, whenever you're calculating your instantaneous value, guys, you always have to multiply with what? 
with 57,3. That's why you see most of the time, if you just use this one, it will be, your answer will be wrong. Eh? You have to convert it to be what? To be in degrees whenever you're given the what? The angular, angular velocity. Eh? All right, okay. And then we also have how to calculate the effective or the, the RMS, the RMS value. Eh? Okay, let us see. The same formula to calculate the E average, which is what? <coughs> the EMF average is going to be 0, 0,637 multiplied by E, by E max. So if they're talking about E max, they're talking about the maximum. The maximum value. Eh? The same thing with the, uh, if you want to calculate the ARMS, it's just going to be what, 0, 0,7 07 multiplied by the, the E max, which is the maximum maximum value. Same thing with, with the current. Eh? So they can ask you to calculate the average of what of the EMF or the uh, ARMS also, or, or about the current also, which is the I average and also I RMS. Eh? All right, okay. And then you also have what we call the form, the form picture. If you have the same textbook, Open on page uh, 63. You must know how to define the form factor. Né? I saw what they were asking those definitions. I'll show you later. Which textbook are you using? Oh, I don't have a textbook for now. All right, okay. Okay, so they're saying the form factor, uh, the form factor of a waveform is the ratio of the RMS value and uh, to the to the average value. Né? So the form factor is just the ratio of what of the RMS value and also the average the average value. Né? Okay, and then the formula to calculate the form factor, guys, is just gonna be the RMS value, né? Divided by the average value. And how do you get your RMS value using this formula, né? How do you get your uh, your average value? It can either this one or or this one, né? And then you also have what we call the crest, the crest factor, and you must know how to define what we call the crest factor. The same, the crest factor of a waveform is the ratio of the maximum value to the to the RMS of the wave. And then the formula to calculate what. The crest factor is just going to be the maximum value divided by the RMS, RMS value. Né? And this formula they are given on your, on your formula sheet. But if they say it's for, for, for a pure uh, sonosuda wave, just know your form factor is close to 1, 1, 1. You don't have to calculate. And then also on this one, uh, your crest factor is close to what? 1, 4, 4, 1, 8. Né? And if they only say it's for a pure sonosuda wave, né? only for that. But if it is not that, you have to calculate it. And it won't give you this. This one is now. All right, okay. You can just take a peek of this one. Huh? You have a one? You can share. Just take a peek. Oh, this. All right, okay. So let us do, let us do an example, now. Eh? Example 6.1. Okay. So they are saying uh, a waveform is represented by the by the equation which is E is equals to 100 sine uh, 314, 2, 8, uh, T volts. Né? So sometimes they can just give you an, an, an equation like, like this. Né? Okay. So they are saying a waveform is represented by the equation E is equals to 100 sine uh, 314, 2, 8, T volts. Okay, so before you, you do anything, guys, I said the first thing you must identify your maximum value and also the angular velocity. Né? I said whenever you're given this equation, the first value is the maximum, the maximum value. Since it is E, I know this is the maximum EMF. Né? And I said this is your angular velocity, which means I'm also I'm given the maximum value. I'm also given the uh what's this? The angular, the angular velocity. Né? All right, okay, that's the first thing. And then on A, check on A. On A, they want, they're saying, they want the maximum value of the, one, of the EMF. They want the maximum value. Né? And they always do that. On your question, it's always there. And I said, what is your maximum value here? Yeah? It's 100. Né? And it's 100 volts since it is what? It's the EMF. Né? All right, okay. And then on B, they are saying they want the RMS and the average value. The RMS and the average value. How do I get the my mind? My RMS and also the average value. I said we have the formula to calculate the E average and also the R E R M S. Né? Okay. So to get my B, what my B? To get my E RMS, it's just gonna be what? 0, 0,707 uh, multiplied by the what? By the maximum value, which is what? Which is 100. Né? Just find for me. What do you get if you multiply by 100? Check and then your E average just gonna be zero comma six three seven. Seven comma seven. 
Yeah. All right, okay. And then the other one? Yeah, average. Sixty-three, sixty-three, comma seven. Okay, it's in bold, isn't it? Sixty-three is the voltage. All right, okay. And then on B, on B, oh, C. sorry, on C, ne? They want the frequency of the supply. The frequency of the supply. How can we get the frequency, guys? The frequency supply. We use the angular velocity, ne? Because we say we know that W is equals to 2 pi F. F, ne? And we know I said we are given the angular velocity, which is which is this. Ne? Mm. So just now we just have to make your F the sum with the formula. Because you are given your W already. Ne? Mm. Okay, and then I divide by 2 pi, I divide by 2 pi, this comes of this, and then two, this comes of this, and then I left with the F, and then my F. What is my W? It's 3, 1, 4. Comma two eight divided by two pi. Fifty eight. Exactly fifty eight, ne? Oh, fifty comma zero one nine. Comma zero one nine, eh? Yes. Or you can just see, you can just round out to be fifty, eh? It's fine. All right, okay. And then they also want one on D, the period, the period time. time eh? And then I say, well, how do you get, how do you get your time? It's just gonna be what T is goes to one over one over A F, eh? which is one over fifty comma zero one one nine. You get your time. Zero comma zero one nine nine. Zero comma zero. One nine nine. Uh, zero comma zero two. Zero two, ne? And then remember, the time is measured in seconds, ne? Okay. And then on on E, the one is to change the value of the EMF, ne? Uh, twelve milliseconds after after zero increasing positively, ne? So now they want you to calculate the instantaneous the instantaneous value, ne? And now to calculate the instantaneous value, I said we use this one, ne? And then I said, whenever you're calculating the instantaneous value, you have to multiply with 50 cent comma, comma 3, remember, ne? Okay, so to get our E, it's going to be 100 uh, sine of 3, 1, 4, comma 2, 8, multiplied by, they give, they give us the instantaneous time, ne? Which is 12, 12 million, which is 12 times 10 to the power negative, 3, multiplied by 57, 50 cent comma 3, ne? You get your answer. Negative fifty-eight. Is that? Negative fifty-eight. Negative fifty-eight comma nine one eight. Nine one eight. Nine one eight. eight ne? oh. And please note it's it's possible to get a negative, ne? It's possible to get a negative. And then the other one on F. The time that is that it will take to reach fifty-five volts. On the first time from there. Okay, so now they want us to calculate what? The time, ne? Whereby they give you the uh, the EMF, the EMF value, ne? Well, they're saying that they want the time uh, that will be take to reach 55 volts for the first time from what? From zero. Now they want you to calculate what? The time. Okay, so they gave you what? They gave you E, now they want you to calculate what? The time, ne? And then they said that it's what? It's 55, ne? Okay, so the same as what? 55 is equal to uh, 100 sine of 1 of 3, 1, 4, comma 2, 8, divided, sorry, I'm multiplied by T, ne? and then you just have to make T, the, how can we make T the sum with the formula here? Okay, let's say, start, I divide by 100, I divide by 100, this one comes with this one, and then can you just divide this for me? 55 divided by 100, and give me. 0, 0,55 0, 0, is equal to sine uh, 3, 1, 4, comma, 2, 8, T. And then what's next from here? What do I do? You divide by sine 
Sign 31.4, comma 2. It's no, our T is not inside the bracket. Oh, it's inside. So how do I change it here? Oh, uh, we say inverse of. Well, I say inverse of this, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. Okay, so it's gonna be the inverse of zero comma five five is equals to. Uh, we left in what? Three one four comma two eight T. Okay, let us see. Are we supposed to multiply? Because remember, we didn't multiply by fifty seven comma. Comma three. Yeah, we're supposed to remember I said we must change it. Eh? We have 57 comma comma three, which means I have to divide with what here. Yeah? I divide with four, three one four comma two eight multiplied by fifty seven comma three. Three one four comma two eight multiplied by fifty seven comma three. This one will cancel this part and then I'll get my child. Can you just divide for me? One comma eight five three. One comma eight five three. Oh, eight five eight five two eight seven four. I just round to the it, Okay, just like this. Yeah. It doesn't even like change to the power something. Oh, it's it's a one comma eight five two eight seven four three two six times to end to the power negative three. Negative three, and I said ten, whenever you have ten to the power negative three, so it's million. Eh? You remember. Yeah. So the same as milli, milliseconds, right? Mm -hmm. So you have your, you have your time. Right? Okay, which part should I have? Okay, the next question, the one what? The one the form fake, then, eh? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so now they want you to calculate the form factor. Did they, they specify if it is a son or so down? The range, ne? They just want you to calculate the, the form factor. And then I said, what is the formula to calculate the form factor? Is the RMS divided by the average average value, ne? We're having our, our, our RMS value, which is what? Plus 70, comma 7, ne? And then our average, it was 60. 3, 7. Divide for me and see what you get. One point zero. One zero. One zero. I mean, just one point one because it's zero nine eight. One point one, eh? All right, okay, and then they also wanted the what? The crest factor. Okay, and then I say what's the formula to calculate the crest factor? With the maximum value, what is our maximum value? I say you check from me your maximum value is 200. Right? Divide by, uh, by the RMS value, which is 70, comma 7. And then please note the form factor and the crest factor doesn't have SI, doesn't have SI unit. Right? Four one four one four ne? and then you're done. So it's not difficult, man. You just have to know the formula. And then the most trick part, guys, you must know when you're calculating instantaneous value, you have to multiply with 57, comma, comma three. That's why but you're given the, the angular the angular velocity, which is what? In radians, ne? Mm. All right, okay. Any question? That's fine. Right, we end this.